Hey everybody, it's Budget Bug Out coming to you with an unboxing of a new Benchmade knife that I just got. I got this knife at a local uh, military surplus store. Uh, my wife uh, wanted to treat me to uh, getting a nice little knife uh, because of my recent accomplishments at work. So let's go ahead and, uh, and see what I got here. <clears throat> Open right up and top you got a little... Uh, user care manual. cool thing about these Benchmine knives is, uh, if y'all can, can see that, but uh, it says, uh, it says uh, Life Sharp on the box, and that's because for a small fee, Benchmade will, um, will keep your, will, will sharpen your knives, you just gotta send it in and just pay a little shipping and handling kind of stuff. But, uh, this knife was made in the US of A. For those of you that uh, that uh, are real into supporting our country's economy, assuming you are a United States uh, citizen, <coughs> all right. Uh, nice little covering on the outside, and da 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 da. And the plastic, and here it is, the Benchmade. A 300 SN. I've had my eye on this for quite a while. Full disclosure, the uh, military surplus store did let me handle this before I bought it. But uh, give me a little close up on the knife. It, this is the only bench made knife, to my knowledge, anyways. I could be wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, that ha the only one that has a flipper, or at least, yeah, the only one I know of. <clears throat> you know, show you all the blade. It's the logo. Benchmade it has 300 on it as well. This knife is very sharp, so I'm trying to be careful not to cut myself. There's the... Uh, a little logo, it says uh, like ball custom knives on it, and uh, the blade steel. It's at 154cm. And uh, this knife is a is new to the lineup uh, this year. This is, I'm filming this 2013. <clears throat> um, there's five different ways to open this knife. For you all that uh, have seen some of the uh, the knife videos uh, that this has been in, but uh, there's the the flipper there, and this will break in. Uh, this will be smoother uh, as I get used to it. But uh, there's the flipper. There's the thumb stud. That's two, right? So flipper, thumb thumb stud. There's the access lock. Oops. That's three. Um, and then there's just the gravity itself. Let's see here. There we go. Got it. <clears throat> That's four. Hmm. What is the fifth way, I wonder? I'm not 100% sure. I don't really remember. I guess you could, I don't know, open it by pulling this out and just like that. I don't know. I guess it's the fifth way. But, uh, yeah, I love it. The G10 handles, um, blade steel, like I said, 154cm. Uh, it's just over the 3-inch uh, uh, blade length, and it's like 3.1 or something like that. And uh, it's a real good solid, solid grip. Yeah, just a, just a great grip. It has a little bit of a jimping on the back here. The insides, let's see if we can get a close up of that. See how the inside of the liner is milled out, which makes it a little bit lighter. This is, uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's under five ounces. It's like 4.8 ounces or something like that, if I remember uh, correctly. Um, it, it, it does have a little swedge on the back here, although not much of one. Um, and this, this can help with like feathering or, or, or whatnot. Um, I've seen video from Benchmade that shows this access lock 
um, can withstand 600 pounds before the tang of the blade breaks. Um, so the uh, the lock, the access lock doesn't even doesn't even um, have a failure, not even a soft failure, where uh, where it just slightly bends. Um, it's it's actually the tang of it that has the failure. Um, let's see the. It is a deep pocket carry. Um, it, it is reversible for left hand or right handed uh, people. This is this would be a great knife for those of you that are left handed because um, the same things that are on this side, such as the thumb stud and the access lock and the flipper, uh, are also on this side, you know, uh, access lock and thumb stud. Um, I really like this pocket clip. The way I'm going to carry this is, as some of you all know, I uh, have a tactical belt that I like to keep my knives on, so I'll be keeping this on, on the tactical belt. And one of the reasons why I like deep carry for, even for belt carry, is for um, to keep it from rubbing up against uh, my torso. So, anyways, uh, this concludes my uh, video. This is my first knife review. Um, I do plan on doing more. If you'd like to see uh, more, I have uh, over well over a dozen knives, and uh, I plan on getting more as well um, as my budget allows. So, um, please, let, hello, Kitty. <laughs> I know, Katie. I'm sorry for not giving you full attention all the time. But, um, you know, let me know uh, if you'd like to see more. Uh, please uh, subscribe. Um, there's a contest uh, or slash giveaway coming up that I plan on doing in the, in the near future. And I also have, once I reach other landmarks for subscribers, I plan on doing more contests. So, um, so yeah, uh, you'll have a great weekend. Bye.